As the government of St. Lucia moves to gain more involvement in the National Fair Trade Organization, NFTO, Agriculture Minister Honorable Ezekiel Joseph convened a meeting with all nominees who are expected to fill in the executive positions on the organization's board of directors. The meeting, which took place on Thursday, May 27, 2021, demonstrates the government's commitment to initiating the strategic new direction, which it says will benefit the NFTO and its member farmers, as the previous operating procedures proved ineffective. The options that were put on the table by the consultant in restructuring the NFTO, all three options refer to government having full control. And the farmers participated in that in that in that process. I, am, I believe the farmers are more disappointed, or the majority of them, the majority of them are more disappointed that we did not take full control. And I do that is not the thinking of government. The thinking of government is to see how we can work with the farmers. We believe that there are enough individuals um, in the respective groups that can provide proper leadership. I have the fullest confidence in that. What they need is the support, um, and that is what. I am comfortable with the support of my, my cabinet. We are comfortable in giving the support and not to take over. According to Minister Joseph, the government is continuing to collaborate with the NFTO board to put the legal framework in place to begin restructuring the banana industry. The recent bailout in the amount of $4.5 million was made possible through a loan facility acquired through the Ministry of Finance to pay off banana farmers. I must say that Whilst we have, um, as a government, despite the fact that we did not um, receive on a timely basis a reply from the NFTU as far as members are concerned, we took a decision with the support of Cabinet and um, the Minister of Finance to pay some advance payment to the banana farmers. Now it has moved from 13 weeks, um, well, it has moved from week 13 to week 20, because when they wrote us Sometime in April, they were owing banana farmers from week 7 to week 13. Today we learn that it has moved from week 13 to week 20. So there's still a lot of money outstanding for the banana farmers, which of course we had factored in, in the loan that we are getting from the from the um, Central Development Bank with the support of the Ministry of Finance. Minister Joseph notes that the immediate goals of the NFTO, as well as the government of St. Lucia, are to ensure that farmers are paid on time and that they produce high-quality commodities. It is going to be um, even more discouraging, right, if the board cannot um, increase its market share both on the UK market and the, and the regional market. So if the, if the board cannot do that, and, and what I'm learning today is that there is an interest and there, is, there have been requests by the supermarket through the fruit fives that they want more fruits. So it's for us now not only to sell more fruits, but to sell more quality fruits. That's important. Um, because we cannot continue to, to export fruits, and when it reaches up there, almost 50% of the fruit is being dumped, right? And, in, and instead of the, soup, the importers of our fruit owing the NFTO, the NFTO is owing the importers. We cannot continue that. We have said so before. Minister Joseph reaffirms the St. Lucian government's commitment to assisting the island banana farmers, constituents who are pivotal to the success of the island's agriculture economy. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.